Aloha again, everybody. Mike Jutar back for another property tour. I want to be your guide for all things Hawaii real estate. We are back in Pu'ulani Ranch. The next one in our series of homes. This one is brought to us by Randy Ripley at Compass Realty. Thanks, Randy, for letting us bring this one to you. I'm going to give you the stats right off the bat. We have three bedrooms, three and a half baths, plus an office, 3,442 square feet of living space, and an incredibly well done lot. If you stay till the end, I'm going to tell you my three favorite things about the lot and the one thing, or about the property, I should say. And the one thing I would change if this was my place. All right, let's get right to it, guys. First thing you're going to notice, we've got this nice metal roof. The exterior looks great. We got a cream color with a brown trim, board and batten. We have a three car garage, so a two car garage and a third one there. Now, who's going to put three cars in a three car garage? I know you're all going to make that third space a workshop or storage. That's why they put it there. Really good job here. This triple beam Ohia post corner. Look at that. And another one over here. You know, this is so unique on the exterior of this house that the first thing I'm going to do is show you the lot because it's pretty unique. They've done a lot to it. Now you're on one point, I believe it's 1.2, 1.5 acres out here. So you have a lot of space, but if you don't use that space in some way, it's just sort of wasted, right? Well, these guys have not wasted it. First, you got this massive covered lanai here. So no matter the weather, no matter the sun, you have somewhere to sit outside. They got those Ohia posts all throughout the property here. Excellent job. Recessed lighting here. Day or night, you're good. And then out here on the side, God, look at this, just keeps going. There's over a thousand square feet of covered lanai here. I am sure of it. And then this nice, look at this lava rock pathway out with the seashore grass. So this is one of the real common grasses that we have here in Hawaii. Feels really good on your feet. They call it seashore. It's uh, salt resistant. So if you're down along the water, you can use it. And if you're not along the water where you get the sea spray, you actually gotta bring in salt to make this stuff thrive. Uh, if you wanna get the best out of it. We got a large little Trex deck out here. I'd say we're looking at about 20 by 15. Uh, with this wood covered built-in seating area. I mean, this yard is for entertaining. And then lava rock pathway out to, looks like we got gas going there to our fire pit. I didn't notice propane on the side of the property. So you can see they've installed their gas line there. So we have a fire pit out here to enjoy the setup. So, I would say that's pretty good for a backyard, right? I mean, if you got that kind of landscaping set up, you're good to go. Here's the, we're gonna get to that actual section in a second, coming off of the owner's suite. So there's a little tease for you. I'm gonna work my way around the other side of the house and be right back with you guys. Okay guys, so I've worked my way around to the other side of the house. And here's the, but wait, there's more section. So that was all just like the front and the side yard. That wasn't even the really cool section. Here is the back of the house. See more of these Ohia posts here. Beautiful tropical landscaping. Look at the grass, just looks amazing. And another awesome entertaining area out here Got a nice little bench to sit on as you're drying off or getting ready to hop into the hot tub right over there beautiful stained concrete pathway out i like it when they put the grass in between the pieces there you like that i think that's really cool and then out to this deck so this is an open uncovered deck but it has trellis on four sides which is really cool Nice setup. We got a bar height dining area. 
You can hear the birds out in Pulai Ranch. And we have this really large fire pit here. I'd say we're looking at about 20 foot by, actually I bet it's like 25 foot by 12 or 15 foot for this area, plus the little wings off to the side on either side. All kinds of plumeria and bird of paradise, tea, palms. We got some young flame palms that are gonna work their way up. Our solar PV panels up on the roof with our metal roof there. I mean, it's just an awesome setup throughout. So the first part of the house that I'm going to show you is actually uh, a little section that we access over here because it is completely separate from the rest of the house. This is a guest suite. And here is our entrance into our guest suite. So first, we've got a travertine tile over here to our left is our bathroom. Walk right into the shower. I like the glass pane that they have there. It keeps it looking nice and open. Nice work on the countertop cabinet. Dovetail joints. Okay, continuing on. So, we have our mirror closet door over here. We have a small linen closet to our left. I believe we're looking at nine foot ceilings. We got our crown molding, our recessed lighting. Really nice ceiling fan that they put up in there. Uh, and a decent amount of light coming in. We also have a slider going out to that backyard. So that's really cool. And then over here, have a little bit of a kitchenette setup. Looks like we got 42 inch cabinets. So good size on these guys over here. With a little sink, a little refrigerator. Um, you know, not something that for me I would want to live in full time or anything like that. But if you have guests over, really nice setup. I like what they did here. We got our travertine tile, and then we have a transition to what looks like I think that's an engineered product with a wood on top. So I think it's laminate on bottom and wood on top, or press board on bottom with wood on top. Looking at the sheets, but it or uh, the the shine that I see coming off there. Um, but I really like the setup. It's a king size bed, plenty of room in here. So this is a really large amount of space. Um, you could probably optimize this a little bit more. I see they got a big screen TV sitting over here. That's probably too big for the house or for this room. You could put something smaller like we have right there and maybe even have some sort of a better little seating setup. I think they chose to have this dinette here. I might lose that because you got places to dine outside and maybe just have a really small sectional put right in here uh, and might make a little bit better use of that space. So now we're going to come through, since this is the first room that you've seen, we're going to show you the rest of the house and that's where this thing really shines in. I'll catch you back at the front door. Okay, finally we're at the front door and this home makes a wonderful entrance. You have this large wood with glass accent double door entry um, in a lot of space. So again, this house is 3,442 square feet. Um, so you have a lot of room to do things like just add a nice entry for you. Nice job that they've done in here. Immediately over to our right, and you see a nice textured glass double door entry in here to our closet. Now, this is not counted in one of the bedrooms. Sometimes when you see a bedroom count on a house and you go into a uh, an office, um, that's one of the bedrooms. This has three actual bedrooms plus this closet, I'm sorry, this office. It's twice I've called it a closet. Um, so it's nice to have that space and know that in your bedroom bathroom count, you're not being asked to sacrifice one of your rooms for an office, which has become so important to so many people. We have our utility over here, uh, large sink, washer dryer up on a pedestal, easy access, that's really great. That's access over to that three car garage door that I showed you from the beginning. And now we're here at bedroom number two. So we know we have three bedrooms in this house. We showed you the first one, which was that, that suite that was completely disconnected and a little bit more private. This one's smaller than that, of course, but it's still plenty of size. We got a California King in here and an in-suite bath. So at this price point, we're at 2.3 million. Uh, you do want to have an in-suite bath on every bedroom. If you don't have it, it's, it's kind of a deal breaker at this point for a lot of people. 
Uh, maybe one bedroom that doesn't have a in suite, you can get away with that. But if all of your bathroom bedrooms don't have their own bathroom, um, that's gonna be a deterrent for a lot of folks. So it's nice that they have that taken care of. That's the stuff we expect to see at this price point. We also like these extra little touches. So, you know, we're not getting a, a Home Depot door here for the powder room. Check that out and that texture in there. Isn't that gorgeous? This is just for the powder room, guys. I like that nice glass vessel um, for the sink. Another touch that you, you see when you look at homes at this price point that you're looking for is those little extras there with the fixtures coming out of the wall and being plumbed in for that. Um, you gotta have that design that way from the beginning. Beautiful artwork in here. Coming into our main living area, I'm just gonna scan here for a moment so you can kind of take it all in. A lot of space and a lot to take in here and there's no way you can take it in on just the scan and no way you can get that on the photos on Zillow either. There's a lot here. So let's kind of start over here in our dining room. We have a really large dining room and you see that they did the cutout here with the travertine 12 by 18 tiles. Uh, I think we've got 12 by 18 and some 18 by 18 uh, in there. Oh, that's on the border, now I see it. Uh, for this large dining space. So many times when you have a dining space, it's actually made just too small to be functional. Uh, this one is not. And look at this drop down crown that they have in here with this sort of, uh, it's just sheetrock, but boy, it kind of has a leathered look. It looks really sharp. And then the extra attention to detail uh, with this band going right around there, this dark band as an accent, really nice attention to detail on that. And as you'd expect, we have some top end windows here very sturdy that's what you're wanting to see baseboard has a flush and then a texture on top and you're looking at about it's at least eight i think probably 10 inches on the baseboards and we have another one of those ohia posts in here love how they brought the outside architecture and made sure to work it inside you'll notice in a few spots here on the ceiling uh, that we do have recess light and built-in speakers i'm counting real quickly six that I'm seeing. Uh, and then we have this nice ceiling treatment. I like the recessed light. Um, so I like turning off all the lights, turning on the TV and houses like this with this setup and then just leaving that as your light, your ambient light for the entire room. Really awesome. We have large sliders and these are large pocket sliders, Fleetwood doors all the way on this side. So you're looking at about a 14 or 16 foot slider there opening up. And then another one on the other side. Good work on that. Huge amount of space in this living room. I mean, it's just massive. This is about, this little area here, I can't say little, looks to be about 28 by 25 to me. So a ton of space here. And at this elevation, you are going to enjoy a fireplace. Um, it's nice and cool up here. Love it. And then just a moment to kind of take in that ceiling treatment and see that they have the crown, the recess light, and then the vault. And then I like how they have these uh, directional light pieces here for their artwork. Wonderful job on that. One large ceiling fan in this room to move some air around. And then over here into the kitchen, you can see they have this drop down light system. Uh, to move around. Kitchen is absolutely massive and a ton of space in here. Um, and they have some different elevations going on. It's kind of cool. I'm going to start over here by our nice little, people use this as an office. To me, it's like a little recipe station. Um, and then scan around. Massive island. You see we have this nice high bar with this beautiful granite on top. And you know, I love having a prep sink over here and a main sink in another area. Putting that in makes it so much easier, especially when you're hosting a party and you got a team of you having to do some work to get everything out. Having that second sink uh, to cut things up and still be engaged is really, is really awesome. We've got a five burner co propane cooktop where I mentioned that we have uh, propane gas out here. That is not very common in Hawaii. If you're someone who loves gas, that's something you're going to have to ask for. 
um, in, your, in your home design, there's no natural gas in Hawaii, so it's all propane. You can see we got some excellent cabinets, 42 inch cabinets on top with the crown molding. So they're doing all the upgrade things that you expect to see. Got our built in, looks like there's a trash compactor there. Look at that. Now I like it when they do this. You don't even know you had the dishwasher there, did you? Kept wondering where it is when they put those fronts on there and it blends right in. Really sharp. Then they did the same thing over here with our refrigerator. And you can see we have our microwave in our oven right next to it. Extra large pantry. You got to have a pantry. Don't forget about it. People forget about that. It's like the first thing people get rid of when they start making a house a little bit smaller. And I love the color blocks that they have here. Just a wonderful accent. The oranges are coming out a little bit stronger on camera than they are in person, so don't let that throw you. There's that ex exit out to that amazing backyard that I showed you. And finally, we're going here to the owner's suite. And a really nice setup on here. So first we have a, a small closet there. That would be the one that I'm relegated to if this was my house. And the main closet over here, large walk-through closet. Plenty of space in here. All set up for all your stuff. And then you can walk through your walk-through closet over here to our bathroom. There we got our soaking tub with some jets, service door going outside. We have our wand and our shower head for our large walk-in shower, two basin sink, privacy door on the bathroom. And then here to the bedroom part of the bedroom suite. We've got that same crown molding, recessed lighting on top. I like how they have it set up, kind of taken out the taken in the view out here. Got a little bit of ocean view out there, but just the beautiful. Beautiful landscaping and the sky. And then finally, this is my favorite part. I love it when they do this in a house. Come out here to our private outdoor shower. Now, this is really cool because they have this water feature here too. So this is how I love it when people do stuff. You got this nice purple bench. Just out of nowhere, purple bench. I would never think to do that. But you know what? It actually works well with the plant right there. It has some purple flowers. The bottom of those, whatever those plants are over there in the corner are purple. So that purple accent is actually really cool. I love it that people can do that stuff. I can't do that at all. And there is our shower, our large rock wall. Access back out to the hot tub. And then access out to the front. And then of course back here in the bedroom. Okay, my three favorite things about this property. Number one is the use of landscaping and outdoor living space. It's great to have a house. Love it, love big houses, but get outside, enjoy it. I think we've all been cramped up and we've gotten a little bit more appreciation for what's outside. So that's the big thing that I like about it. That's number one on my list. Number two, I really like the way they've incorporated this entire area it's not just a box. And a lot of times when we do open living concept, people think, oh, we're just gonna do a big, large square box. You can do more than that. It doesn't have to be just really bland. You can still have some great areas while being connected to each other. The living room is connected to the dining room. The dining room is connected to the kitchen and all of it, but it's not just one big square. So I really like the design they set up here on number two. Number three, my third favorite thing is that suite outside completely disconnected you know so many of us have people that come over we love having our friends come over and staying with us for a week while we're here in hawaii but you know it, you know you don't want to be too close to each other having that space for them and for you is really really nice so those are my three favorite things the one thing i would add boy i'm having a tough time coming up with something here I can't really think of anything that this house is missing that I would add. I guess I could just say standard, you could add a pool if you want. Um, 
So I guess that's what I'll say. The one thing I would add is a pool. And I can't think of anything else this house needs. And I don't know if you need a pool, but if you want to put one in, put it right here. And then you're set. All right, I hope you like this. Check out more videos here in Putulani Ranch. And I'll see you again real soon.